Ladies and gentlemen, the session that you have wait, been waiting for is here. Yes, it's inst interinstitutional partnerships and arrangements. Sounds like something that lawyers should be discussing, but if you've been involved in any interinstitutional partnerships and arrangements, you know that it can be a blood sport. This is the area where if we want, if, even if we could implement all of the things that we've been talking about all day, even if we had buy-in all the way across, across the board, this is the place where the best ideas can go to die. This is the place where convergence can be thwarted if we cannot uh, uh, bridge these kinds of, of partnerships. So we have three talented, exceptionally talented gentlemen who will speak to us today about their experience in, um, in these kinds of partnerships and arrangements both spanning different kinds of uh, kinds of institutions or uh, different d different universities or even different institutions within universities. Uh, we have Bruce Walker, who's the director of the Reagan Institute, uh, which is a collaborative research initiative that involves uh, Mass General Hospital, MIT, and Harvard um, that brings scientists and engineers together from diverse disciplines to contribute to the development of an effective HIV vaccine. We'll hear from him first, then we'll hear from David Cantor, who is a Senior Associate Vice President and the Executive Director of a, a new campus at the University of Michigan in, a, in Ann Arbor called the North Campus Research Complex uh, that's uh, designed to promote convergent and translational research. And then we'll talk, well, then we'll hear from Reg Kelly, who's the Director of QB3 Institute, which is an innovation center made up of over 200 quantitative biologists at uh, uh, UC Berkeley, UC Santa Cruz, and UC San Francisco um, that works at the interface of physical and, and, and biological sciences. And I have asked these gentlemen to not only share their successes with us, but also to share any epic fails. We want to hear about those. We want to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly because we learn as much from what didn't work as what did 